All right. So um, for um, today, we want to look at indeterminate forms and L'Hopital's rule. Okay. Now we know that uh, a function f of x, for instance, y is equal to f of x is continuous if I take the limit as let's say that x approaches a of f of x. This is equal to a. Um, then, then f of x is continuous at at a. Okay. Now there are times where you have you are taking the limit. Um, and it's not clear, for instance, where the limit is going to go, okay? And so in those cases, we have things um, that, that the limit is difficult to determine the limit, and so we say it is indeterminate, okay? And L'Hopital School helps us to be able to find this limit. Uh, one of those, you've probably seen this one before, is that uh, the limit, let's say, for instance, as x approaches zero of sine of x, all over x, okay, this we know is equal to 1, but how, right? Because if you just look at the expression on itself, if you plug in, right, x is 0 in here, you get a 0. If you plug in x is 0 here, you get a 0 as well. So you're going to have, if you just do what we did here, plug in, in x is equal to 0, 0, x is equal to a in place of x, and you get f of a. If you do that here, you're going to have a 0 all over a zero. And so we say this form is an indeterminate form because it's difficult to determine. This is going to zero, this is also approaching zero. Will the whole expression approach zero or approach a number? In this case, it's not approaching zero, it's going to approach some number, okay? So we have several forms um, known as indeterminate forms. So this is one of them, and we'll come across this a lot of times. We also have, if you like, if you have uh, infinity over infinity, if you want plus or minus, plus or minus. Those are indeterminate forms. We'll see later that other indeterminate forms are, let's say, 0 to the power 0, like 1 raised to the power infinity. Uh, let's say we have infinity raised to the power 0. All of these are termed as indeterminate forms. So in finding the limit, we'll see why finding the limit is important when we look at scales or order of magnitude. But when finding the limit, if you come across this, then you have what is termed as an indeterminate form. And so you have to use L'Hopital's rule to be able to find uh, those limits. Okay? Good. Now, what does L'Hopital's rule say? Say that, A, for instance, um, I have limits as x approaches A of a function f of x over another function g of x. Okay. If this gives me an indeterminate form, okay, if I get an indeterminate form, then to find that limit, what I do is that I take limit x approaches a and I differentiate this with respect to x, f prime with respect to x all over, differentiate this with respect to x as well, j prime with respect to x. Once I do this, I can find the limit. And that will give me, that will remove the fact that it was indeterminate and I can find the limit, okay, by substitution. Okay? That is basically L'Hopital's rule. For instance, you can easily apply that to this, right? Over here, we have the limit, limit as x approach, approaches zero of sine of x all over x. Again, we have an indeterminate form, zero over zero. So we can rewrite this as the limit as x approaches 0 of, now you differentiate sine of x, that gives you cosine of x, differentiate x, that gives you 1, and so now you can basically substitute, as x goes to 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so you have 1 over 1, and that gives you 1, okay, so that is why the limit of sine x over x as x goes to 0 gives you 1, okay. Now, warning, you have to be careful about this. Warning. Number one is that limits, this says that take the derivative of the numerator separately and take the derivative of the denominator separately. Don't use the, uh, the quotient rule. 
okay don't use the quotient rule for Lupita's rule in other words let's don't do this this f prime over g prime of x this is not the same as d dx of f of x over g of x this is not equal to that so be careful about that number two okay the second warning is that apply apply the rule only when you encounter or when you have an indeterminate form okay don't apply Laputa's rule okay and finally limit don't apply it if you don't have any of these indeterminate forms apply it when you encounter an indeterminate form I will show you an example for instance look at this we have for instance limits the limits let's say the limit as x approaches this is 0 of 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 all over let's say x squared plus 1 okay now as x approaches 0 if you just go straight away and substitute this goes to zero, that goes to zero, this goes to zero, negative one over one, this should give you negative one. All right, and that is the limit. Good. Now, what happens if we apply L'Hopital's rule? Okay, if you apply L'Hopital's rule, applying L'Hopital, you're going to have limit as x goes to zero of the derivative of this is six x right plus this is two this goes to zero all over i'm going to have two x here this goes to zero now if i put in zero this goes to zero this goes to zero and i get two and this is wrong if you like this is wrong so you have to be careful when applying the rule the rule only applies when you meet an indeterminate form so that is why you have to apply the class rule. Great. So now let's see some examples of um, L'Hopital's rule for the zero over zero case and the infinity over infinity case. Let's look at these um, examples. We have, okay, so let's do this. Examples. Okay, use rule to evaluate. Evaluate. The first one is the limit as x goes to one of x raised to the power three x squared minus 2x all over x minus 1 and then the second one we want to find a limit as x approaches 0 of the square root of 9 minus 3x minus 3 divide all this by x okay so let's let's do this for now and then afterwards we'll do a few more examples okay So let's see if you plug in x is equal to 1 in here what do you get you have you're going to have 1 plus 1 
minus two, that is zero. One minus this is zero. So you have a zero over zero, okay? Because it's zero over zero, that is an indeterminate form. So you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So applying the rule, this implies we can have, we're gonna have limit as x goes to one half. Now differentiate this, that gives you three x squared plus two x minus two all over, this is just one, okay? So now straight out away, we can plug in our, we can plug in one. So if you put x equals one, I'm going to have three plus two minus two is equal to three. So that gives me the answer for that, okay? Now, B says we want limit as x goes to zero of the square root of nine minus three x minus three all over x. Again, if you plug in x is equal to zero, you're going to have, this goes to zero, square root of nine is three, three minus three is zero. This is also zero. So you're going to have zero over zero. So this gives us zero over zero as well. Because of that, again, we apply L'Hopital's rule, okay? So this should be equal to the limit as x goes to zero of, now we're going to differentiate, differentiate this guy here. Is to the power half. So I'm going to have one half. I have 9 minus 3x raised to the power negative one half. Multiply by the derivative of what is in here, that is negative 3. This is 0 all over 1. Okay, so this is equal to because this is 1, I mean I can just plug in x is 0, right? If it's 0, I'm going to have one half here, I'm going to have nine to the minus one half multiplied by negative three. Okay, this is equal to one over, this is two square root of nine, that is three, times negative three. This cancels out, that gives you negative, negative one over two, negative one half. All right, so again, straight away, we can apply L'Hopital's rule because this is just a zero over zero for both of them, zero over zero cases. So apply L'Hopital's rule and then you are there. Okay, now let's see, we can do um, a few more examples, hopefully for the case where you have the limits going to um, infinity. Uh, let's look at this case, for instance, we have the limit as x goes to infinity, we want to find ln of x all over x. Um, we can do uh, one more of this. Let's see. That's fine. Okay, so let's just do this one. 25. Okay. So let's let's treat this one. Then we'll move on to um, we'll move on to um, a different case. So note this: as x goes to infinity. Lane, lane goes to infinity. Lane is um, lane goes like that. So as x goes to infinity, it keeps increasing. So this goes to infinity, and as this, x goes to infinity, this goes to infinity as well. So in this case, we have the infinity over infinity um, indeterminate form. Okay. So apply L'Hopital's rule. So I have limit x going to infinity of the derivative of lin x, that is 1 over x, and this one is just 1. So you have limit as x goes to infinity of this 1 over that as 0. So this just goes to 0. Okay? So that is that for um, the infinity over infinity case. Alright?